So as promised, I have a email that a fan sent to me a while ago asking me to consider having you on the show. Really? Yes. And I actually didn't respond for a very long time. I'm sorry. But I remembered it and I kept it in the back of my head. And then when you finally, we talked about you coming on, I was like, oh, I should dig this up. So I want to read it to you. And they gave me their permission. I'm not going to say their name, but they said that you will know who they are when I read it. Do you get emails like this a lot? Um, like not. Requests? I do. Yes. I yeah. get a lot of requests, but I don't get emails like this a lot. So that's why I wanted to read it. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> My name is Blink and I'm writing to persuade you to invite Emma Magnolia as a guest on HRU. This woman is going places in the industry, but it's a thing she's done outside of adult and the way she connects with her fans that will make Emma a unique and memorable interview. I joined Emma's OnlyFans at the same time I started exploring my gender identity, male to female. Oh, I already know who this is. <laughs> I had been DM chatting with Emma only a few days when my first course had arrived in the mail and I laced it on immediately. I wanted to share the moment with somebody, but the house was empty. I did something I'd never done. I sent Emma a racy-ish picture and revealed that I was exploring new things this year. She responded that she loved this for me and asked how it made me feel. True fan engagement happens when the star starts asking her fans questions that evoke answers. Since then, I have shared countless pictures with Emma, nearly all safe for work. She sees the beautiful woman who I'm becoming. This has been a catalyst for accepting my trans identity and allowing me to feel comfortable in my own skin early in transition. I thought it would be 6 to 12 months before I would allow myself to be seen in the world, but I came out at work three months into my journey. The confidence is mine, but Emma truly helped build it up. Prior to listening to HRU, there is no way I would have reached out to an adult star on OnlyFans, but you revealed these performers, creators, as multidimensional, authentic people, many who live their lives in a non-judgmental way as Emma does. I love you. <laughs> There's tissues behind you on the, on the bottom shelf. We've been needing a lot of tissues for episodes lately. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Makes me feel so good. I talk to her like every day. Yeah. She said that you would know yeah. who it was, but I, you know, said that I would keep leave her name out. But the name doesn't matter. The feelings matter. And yeah. I mean, this says to me, you know, that you left an indelible mark on somebody's life and a very difficult decision and transition for somebody. And, you know, someone who most of us see as a celebrity, as somebody who's unattainable, as, you know, a sex worker, like, you were there for this person and it seems like they didn't really have anybody else to turn to. So like, I, I mean, so. <laughs> are you like, how do, are you aware that you leave these kinds of marks on people's lives? Like, yeah, I am. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh, like a nasty. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> but yeah, um, it makes me, it makes me really happy that I could be there for her during her transition because like to like, you know, the, that change in life, like, especially for trans women, mm -hmm. like, it can be really isolating. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, uh, you know, the the idea that I could make that, like, any easier or more supported um, to her, like, is very special to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, this email was written a while ago. How is she doing? How is she doing now? You said you talk to her a lot. Yeah, she's doing good. She's yeah. doing good. You know, life has ups and downs. But, yeah, of course. But she's pushing through. She is, she's very good at life, I think. Yeah. Did you think that when you were getting into, like, sex work that you would be put in this place of – I mean, really, you know, you talked about doing, like, outreach programs before, mm -hmm. you know, as a nonprofit – and now you're kind of still doing the same thing in a completely different career. Yeah. I mean, like, with my, like, OnlyFans and stuff like that, I, I like to think that I build a pretty – is there a trash can? You can just throw it on the floor. Oh, oh okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Fuck, fuck it then. <laughs> we um, never cut to the wide. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm littering in here. But, um, yeah, I feel like I, I try to be, like, supportive and, and like, inviting – people to open up to me and my friendships and on my only fans um more than I really expected I like I get to open up a space for people to just like really get to know me um I yeah I'm I'm lucky that like a lot of my like supporters 
I feel like I say supporters instead of fans a lot because mm-hmm. like they kind of just like become part of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have like pretty close relationships with a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, you know, if they're cool and nice, I like the, to invite them in and, yeah. and like get to know them and they want to get to know me. And I feel very lucky that those types of fans have like chosen me. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.